All right, welcome back to Born Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And today we got kind of a different video, I think. It's been a long time since we reacted to Peter K. We both enjoy him very, very much, but we've gone through almost all of his videos on his channel. There's several that we haven't, but a lot of them are related to the different shows that he's in that we just haven't seen. We tried one. It just, we'd have to watch the show for it to better make sense. But I found this on his channel. And I'm and get myself nervous because it just says part two. I don't remember seeing part one. So sorry about that. Just realize that right now. But we're looking at apparently he was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Ooh. I don't think it was a I checked like a few seconds to make sure that they're not like doing a parody on one of his shows. I think he was actually on it with this guy, Patty McGinnis, which I've seen his name on some of his other videos we haven't reacted to. I think he's one of his like friends or comedic partners or whatever. But Speaking of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, we recently posted our reaction to Jasper Carrot, the guy at the Scunthorpe Baths, mm -hmm. and loved the reaction. I didn't think we'd get as many people to watch that one as we did. We kind of pulled a random one, and thanks for the request. We're going to keep reacting to him. But crazy enough, someone, and there was several comments in the comment section, he was approached by someone to invest in a new TV show, a new game show, which ended up being Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, how funny. So him and his wife apparently sold the rights after it started taking off for like 10 million pounds. How crazy. Isn't That's that awesome. nuts? That's awesome. And so there's that kind of connection there, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping against all hope that since this is part two, it's not going to take away from the reaction of the video. If so, we apologize. I apologize. If you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload video. Putting your headphones on is Oh my gosh, I it. swear. The evidence of me getting older become nope. Becomes more and more evident every day. Well, at least it's you getting older and not me. Except for the fact that one of I had said in my class yesterday or the day before something along the lines of something but then i was like yeah being in my early or being in my 30s i just said being in my 30s and one of the kids was like oh you're still in your 30s thought you were in your 40s that's a compliment though they thought you were smart and mature they thought i was old 30s. they think 60 40s. 70 is like an average age for teachers they don't understand how age works mm. it's actually hilarious mm. all right five thousand pounds here we go Okay, you have 5,000 pounds. Question number five is for 10,000. You have a 50-50, and you still have a phone. I've never friend. seen two people on the show before. But they've already used it. In the children's books by Dick Bruner, what kind of animal is Miffy? No idea. I know this book. Hedgehog, badger, rabbit, otter. I would guess rabbit. I'm thinking badger or otter, but I'm going with badger. You're the one with the kids. <laughs> Fly them on. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not fair. Well, why, is it, why is it my book? Because I've got children. Well, because uh, I, I suppose you might read children's books with them. Well, no, no, I do, yeah, I do read them, yeah, but I don't read Dick Bruner. <laughs> you heard of him, what do you think? Did they, uh. uh true. Did they used to film Free 2 1 in here? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we did. If you look there, Where? just just there, just there, <laughs> look, have a look up there, Christopher. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Is in a real episode? No, and they were not. Like a cunning plan. Caught red-handed. Yeah. What kind Rotter. of thing? <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a very they, rude text on your phone. Get off of each other. You stay out of my inbox. Yeah. <laughs> in the children's oh. books by Dick Brunham, what kind of animal is Miffy? Now, come on. I don't want to go down that... <sighs> Well, I don't, because we've only got, we've had to use a lifeline so early. We? I don't. Yeah, sorry. We've had to use a lifeline. Hey, stars, stars on China's flag. Where were you then, my friend? That's your department. What? Flags? I'm. Um, I'm um, films and telly. And songs. <laughs> films, telly, and songs. <laughs> Miffy's, it, it sounds like a. I don't know. If, if any, it sounds like. A rabbit was, to me. That's right, well, let's go with rabbit, like a rabbit. What? Let's have a guess to it. <laughs> no, we've got to do I'm not wasting another lifeline. Oh, God, C, final answer, rabbit. Yeah, all right, C, final answer, rabbit. Just dive in there. Why have you just done that? Because, 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 no, because once you go to final answer, it, I can't change it. It goes to orange, that's it. What are you doing to me, Please. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with me. 
It's the right answer. Yeah! I told you to sell you a rabbit. Good job. Good job. If Wilty could see me now, baby. It's not a very long video, don't they last too long. What? 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 Why are we pointing? I was just trying to make you know. You have two lifelines remaining. Yeah, thanks to us. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to Miffy the Bunny Rabbit. Yeah. yeah. This is question number six. <laughs> 20 grand. I can't believe that. The home insurance building, one of the world's first skyscrapers, was in which city? Talking. Boston. The home insurance Chicago. building? New York. Never heard of that. Los Angeles. Chicago. I would uh, phone that fellow. The easy one being New York, but I, I agree. I think Chicago. You, what, what I'm saying about this skyscraper, you think New York, do you agree with that? Yeah, but that might be a trick. There are no trick questions on Millionaire. <laughs> Why well, the pause before? No, there are no <laughs> trick questions. There's no trick questions on Millionaire. Did you have to think <laughs> what game show you're on there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, it's called Millionaire. There are no trick questions. You're looking very confident, Paddy. Based... I'm not. I'm just. I'm looking because we're only one more away from fifty thousand, and I'm thinking if we can get through without another lifeline, we. We'll not... get. We'll get to a million today. Now, easy. <laughs> oh, easy. If we phone Kevin up, is this this fellow you brush past in a tent? <laughs> this is this 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 bloke. <laughs> he does a program called Eggheads. He's, the, he's like world quiz champion. Uh, but how, would, how would you know him? He's got his orbital sander. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> basically, I want it back. What okay. he does, Patrick, when he's not being a chancer on national television, <laughs> he hires out power tools. Yeah. And he lent once this fella off eggheads. <laughs> Who might know the answer to this? Well, he got it back, but without a plug. Yeah. He's like that, Kevin. Isn't it? Yeah. He's so like that. Why are there no plug on that side? <laughs> Kevin? Hello. Uh, I've got Paddy and uh, Peter here. It's a bit of a trial, frankly, Where's but. His plug? Where's his plug? They're on £10,000. <laughs> <they're on> <laughs> right. Next voice here will be Paddy's. Kevin, the home insurance building, one of the world's first skyscrapers, was in which city? Boston, Chicago, New York, or Los Angeles? I'm pretty sure. Can you say them again, Paddy? Sorry. Boston, Chicago, New York, Los Angeles. I'm pretty sure it's Chicago. Chicago. Thank You're you a Kevin. gentleman, Kevin. I love Kevin. you. Good, good Kevin. luck. Have you got Paddy's orbital sander? A plug. He gave you a sander when he came back with no plug on Kevin. Really <laughs> bad. <laughs> 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 ah. We'll never know. We'll never know. Oh. 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 Chicago. God. Chick Final answer. Chick Christine. Chick Christine. Put your tongue away, man. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the right oh. answer. See, I was thinking Chicago just because New York's too obvious. LA, they have Skyker, but they're not known for that. And Boston, if it's the first one, yeah, like that Boston. I just didn't believe that, so. Or you just sent us my answer, Chicago? And it was the correct answer. I had to agree with it. Oh, that was oh, see, <laughs> see, I thought like okay, that was good. I want to see more because either they got the last question wrong, next question wrong without using any lifeline, but the guys said we should save our lifeline for the next one. I'm curious how they did. That wasn't too bad. We should see. If there's a part one and part three. Those were yes, I should. Those were some tough questions. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen celebrities on this show, the the American version of it, and. and you know, even the first four or five questions are kind of gimme questions. Yeah. If it's not black, it's <laughs> purple. Um, but I was impressed. Those are some tough questions. Yeah. And not just that, but you they ask a question that where they're at in the UK is from across the pond, US. I mean, that makes it even yeah. more difficult, right? Yeah. You can give us four cities in the UK. Where did this start? I don't know. Dropping the bucket. Who knows? I'm not dropping the bucket, but just, I like, guess. Yep. That was good. It was good. I, I like their little chemistry. I've never seen them together, but I have seen them in thumbnails of videos, this or that. Um, very, very enjoyable. He's crazy asking for the, the sander plug at the end of it. He's such a goofball. <laughs> and then he tells the guy, put your tongue away. I know. <laughs> and I like that host. I've never seen that guy before, yeah. but I like that host. 
That was fun. It was a fun little banter they all had. Yeah. I like that. Do you record that three and one or whatever that was? He's like, look, right over there. And, like, <laughs> and what was that phone he pulled out? Like the Nokia brick? What was that? I mean, goodness gracious. But it is a great show. It, I remember when it first came out here in the States, at least. I didn't know it originated in the UK. When it first came out here in the States, it was just absolutely massive. Mm -hmm. Me and my family were watching it every single week. We had Regis Philbin as the host for the longest time, and then it switched mm -hmm. or whatever. But, I mean, it was such a massive hit. It was crazy. I think the next thing close to that, you know, for the first little while, was Deal or No Deal. That was also a massive mm -hmm. hit. Let us know if that was a big hit in the UK as well. But great show. I think it's amazing that Jasper Care is one of the first, you know, investors in it and all that kind of stuff. I like it. Boggling. I was just going to say, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.